You're coming too. From Washington State to now sunny California. We've been at it for five years. It began with selling our previous boat and taking that money to buy tools and build a shed. We assembled keel pieces, poured the ballast, and raised all 16 frames in the first six months. There's a boat in there. Now, half a decade later, and at a slower but steady pace, we're in the water. We're salt and tar, and this is our life. Like, subscribe, and support if you can. Good morning, everybody. Unfortunately, Garrett really hurt his back yesterday. We had an awesome day, but <laughs> he is down for the count today, so it's just me on board. I'm gonna clean everything off, and then, I mean, my main task is to soup everything today. Swab's on board with me. Hi, buddy. my light and it's definitely getting cold so I think I'll kind of call it here but I got a lot done and that feels really great it's just been a full day of souping and um, yeah the only thing really that I didn't get to was the inside of the starboard bul bulwarks and also the inside of the transom bulwarks but looks so good with fresh soup probably like one of my favorite things to do <laughs> especially when the sun is out it is i don't know it's just peaceful since garrett's been laid up with his back all day you know hardly able to get up this was really like the perfect day perfect perfect task for just me i get in my own head and i don't know the day flew by <laughs> but the light's fading now and uh, I did the cat heads uh, like a couple days ago, so that's fresh uh, and dry now. And then I got the inside and the cap rail on the port side, as well as the dead eyes. And the last one that Michael did, and then I just added more here, because why not? And I also got this piece the other day when I did the cat heads, but this is fresh. Poor Swab has felt like I've been chasing him all day. <laughs> going on here <laughs> um thought i'd try out a new fashion accessory oh that's kind of nice the 
a what little bit better today. Was it three days or something? Yeah. Yeah. I think today's day well, three, yeah. I can walk more or less, less or more, with a cane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't really pick anything up or bend down or <clears throat> do anything besides walk in a relatively straight line. As long as I take relatively short steps, and I got my cane. <laughs> Look at you go. I know, I feel like a cheetah now. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Too soon. Garrett does some physical therapy, walking up and down the foredeck. Then we meet with Ira, who has some black locust he wants to donate, as well as a spare cane he made himself and just so happens to keep in his car for such an occasion as this. Now you are not allowed to touch it. Stay back. <laughs> Got a whole crew on board today. Reed's over here. Hoppa's over there. And all three dogs. <laughs> we still have to put the permanent jack shroud. Reed hasn't been out to the boat in quite a while, and now that the starboard ratlins are complete, he had to go aloft. The test is complete. <laughs> I didn't break it yet. Yeah, the mask the mask gets a lot more uh, stable when when the bowsprit's down. We have the the head stays tightened. Yeah. She's a little wobbly right now. What do you want to do today? <laughs> Try and make a, a mount for the throttle cable for the motor. There she is. Good engine access. I just bolt that little piece of aluminium onto this. I bolt this thingy through this thingy. And then bolt that thingy onto that thingy. So I think it's like an inch and a half put it exactly on, but since this is adjustable out, I think I'll put it inch and five eighths back because then I can screw that out five eighths and fine tune it. So all I really need to do is mount that on that, measure from these mounting locations, inch and five eighths back, zip it a doodo. Basically, Garrett just had to build an extension to the existing mount for the throttle cable. With his brother and friend on board, none of this is useful. The footage was hard to edit, but the throttle cable got mounted, tested, and passed with flying colors. Perfect. Beautiful. The other day when I was looking at this, I was just like so defeated and just like, there's no way that I'm gonna do this at all. And I was just looking at it and just like, it's like the last thing in the world that I want to do right now. And then now it's just like, oh, no, that's really easy. You just do the thing. <laughs> it's the haircut. It is the haircut. <laughs> <sighs> new hair, new you. All right, ready? Yeah. Forward. All the way up. Okay. Neutral. Reverse. All the way. All right. Good. Forward, neutral, reverse, throttle, all the way. Perfect. The following day, it was time to hook up some gauges. Wire all those up today, mount them on the box, and see how it goes. Hopefully the sending units on the motor still work. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting with just the important ones. Tachometer, oil pressure, and temperature. I want to test run it at the dock for a good while before we take her out in the river. Probably at least like a half an hour on the dock in gear and just kind of kind of monitor everything. We're going to go through there and I'm going to feed it down through the deck box. Okay. And so I'll just have you pull it and then eventually what we're probably going to do with everything is just kind of lead it probably just straight like on the 
underside of the aft deck and then okay. straight down the back side of this. Okay. So we'll just make sure we have enough slack for that. Okay. Sending the wire down now. Okay. Got it? Yep. I'm in that hole. Got it. day back to work yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep I'd say you're doing pretty good I think we picked a good project yeah Ow. <laughs> so, borrowed this from a neighbor and it actually goes as small as we need it to go <laughs> so we can appropriately uh, set the screws on the thrust bearing and now that both the shift and throttle cables are hooked up with that torque down. <laughs> we can put the engine through her, her first round of tests, I guess. 155? 155 foot pounds in, no, 155 yeah. inch pounds in foot pounds. All right, 155 inch pounds to foot pounds equals 12.92 okay I think we're ready. Fire it up. Fire it up! Give uh, Michael a warning up there. Uh, I'm gonna fire the engine up, so don't be alarmed. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, the key. <laughs> Gotta get the key. <laughs> 10 seconds later.
Initially, when we started the motor for the first time, we weren't able to push the engine through her paces because we hadn't torqued down the set screws on the thrust bearing and we discovered we had to rebuild the raw water pump. Well, no movement at all in the thrust bearing, so it looks pretty dang good. And a uh, pretty good test run. Water temperature is starting to rise. Okay. That's good. That's good. Oil pressure is at 40 PSI. possibility that temperature is not accurate because I mean the sending unit on there is old but that's really hot if that is the temperature oh, that's fresh water cooled so I don't know it's showing like well, it's going down now, but it was showing like two, 260 degrees. I shouldn't be concerned about it because I need to flush the cooling system and then add coolant. The thrust bearing held great. <laughs> the thrust bearing passed, the rebuild on the water pump passed, but the temperature was high. So next move is to flush and fill the coolant and we still have to swap out the old alternator. Yes. Want to help me uh, put this table Sure. All right, so hopefully we had success this morning and found the right pulley with just a few little adjustments <laughs> that need to happen to make it Not actually really work. The right pulley? Nowhere had one. And also, of course, you go to a lot of the stores and people want an exact part number, an exact model number or you know, something that they can directly match up, which I couldn't find at all for that alternator. So I just went to a tractor, like farm supply, something store, and just found a random pulley. And it fits, but I need to just take the angle grinder and cut the end off of that so it'll seat all the way so I can bolt it in. But just a little modification should work fine. <laughs> Done. Now we can install our alternator. Nice. Alrighty. And then we're gonna drain and replace the coolant. Yep. And then we could do a longer test run. Hopefully. Um, so when we were running the engine yesterday, it was getting really hot. Um, but right now we only just to do our first test run. Um, since I wanted to fill and flush the coolant system uh, like one full time before filling it up uh, again for good. So I just filled it up with water and then I'm gonna drain it out and then refill it. So right now it just has water in it and it's a little low. And yesterday when we were running it, it was getting really hot. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, if we drain it and fill it up with coolant and top it off, hopefully it'll run normal. But if not, which is a very possible scenario since it's been sitting for so long, I might have to pull the heat exchanger, pull it apart, clean all the passages and everything. And um, so it might just be all, I'll, uh, it might have a lot of buildup inside the heat exchanger. So that's a possibility, but we'll see. Old 
good one's off, and now it's a spare. Need a smaller belt. Yeah, I can just get a smaller belt. To get the belt in full tension, the alternator has to sit at the end of its mount, so the engine cover no longer fits over the engine, until we replace the belt, that is. The tachometer isn't responding, and so we'll need to replace the sending unit on the motor, and the engine was still running hot, so the next thing is to clean and test the heat exchanger, which means boiling it in water to make sure it still functions. We reinstall it, and borrowing a laser thermometer, we achieve our first successful 30-minute test. is that he has this cane to hit me with. <laughs> Careful on the language, I can't edit around if you call everything a <laughs> <laughs> Take two. So this lovely item is where this was mounted. Mm. Shaw's got two girlfriends today. Except one's his cousin. That's a little weird. Oh! Oh. Well, I broke it. <laughs> What's up? What? What's up? Not much. Going to the store? Yeah. Wee hee. <laughs> it's very exciting. It's exciting stuff right here. Yeah. Content. <laughs> this is sick content.